told ya comic books was bad for ya. Stop in the name of the law. Who are you, the dream police? Ha 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 Oh no, my department's way, way worse. The Comic Code Authority. Oh no! Welcome to Five Points of Articulation, where I review action figures and then articulate five points to help you decide if you want to add that figure to your collection. The five points I discuss are packaging, presentation, posability, playability, and price. I'm Jason, and if you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube rigmarole. Today, we're taking what might be my only look at the Marvel Legends Rintra wave with Sleepwalker. Starting off the packaging, and this wave has a purple motif, perfect for making your character blend into the background. Really cool picture on the side and the back. The Sleepwalker is the guardian of the mindscape, apprehending beings that invade the sleeping minds of humans. The build-a-figure for the wave is Rintra, and here are all the figures that you'll need to build them. For those who want it, here's the barcode. Beautiful artwork and the big Marvel Legends window box that I know and love. For packaging, I'm giving Sleepwalker whole point. Moving on to presentation and Sleepwalker stands at six and a half inches. First things first, and there's actually a lot of reuse, the body itself is our old friend Bucky Cap, and the cape comes from Hobgoblin. At first, I thought that the bandages around his wrist came from the spider wave Daredevil, but that's actually not the case. I can't be 100%, but I'm pretty sure that the other bandages are new as well. One thing that's definitely new is this head sculpt. The bright green face and arm really pop and bring the whole thing together. In general, this is a really good color scheme. One thing I will say is that the plastic that they use for the limbs seems particularly particularly gummy. Another minor gripe I have is the leg wrap. Full disclosure, I actually never read Sleepwalker back in the day, which honestly this action figure has kind of made me want to do. But while researching for this video, one thing I noticed is that while every artist draws him a bit differently, one constant is that his leg usually has the wraps going all the way up to his mid-thigh. Ideally, all of this should be new from the thigh cut down. Characters like this are meant to save money so that they can use the budget toward newer sculpts in the wave, so I understand why they did it this way, and from an action figure perspective it works fine. Still, it was something I noticed. To be honest, if you pull the wraps down, that actually kind of balances it out. Just be warned that it does interfere with articulation. Also, for those hoping to use it for other things, the head and cowl are attached. But of course, I will definitely not stop a clever customizer. Not a lot of new parts, but honestly, there doesn't really need to be. A new leg notwithstanding. For a presentation, I'm giving Sleepwalker one whole point. Moving on to posability and Sleepwalker's heads on a ball joint and a disc hinge. Not really a whole lot up because of the hood and the cape. A little bit down though, but it does create a gap. Swivel hinge shoulders raise up over 90 degrees, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and swivel hinge wrists. This far up and that far down. Shifting to the torso and Sleepwalker has an ab crunch, hunches over perfectly, and arches back that far. He has a waist swivel nicely hidden by the sash, and below the waist he has ball jointed hips, thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot cut, and ankles that swivel, hinge, and pivot. Say what you will about the bucky cap body, but you can't fault it for good articulation. For reposability, I'm giving Sleepwalker one whole point. Before we continue, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a like. I put a lot of love into these videos and your likes really do help more people to see them. Moving on to playability and Sleepwalker comes with a pair of spooky hands. He also comes with the left leg of Rintra. It has a single joint swivel in the knee, swivel at the hind joint, and the hoof has swivel and hinge. But playability is more than just accessories, it's also about how well your figure plays with others. For some other heroes that he's teamed up with, here's Sleepwalker with Spider-Man. This one, of course, is the retro card version. Here he is with Daredevil. This is also the retro card version. Here he is with Mr. Fantastic. This one is the Walgreens version. Since they fought in the comics, here he is with the Shadow King. Mine, of course, is on the Retro Kingpin. And his hands are behind his back because I unfortunately don't have any monster ones. Here he is with the Sasquatch Wave Deathlock. And here he is with Professor Xavier. To see how he scales with the Distinguished Competition, here he is with some DC Universe Classics. For something a bit different, here he is with the real Ghostbusters in case you want to use him as a substitute Sandman. A Sandman makes dreams! For a dream-related boogeyman comparison, here he is with Freddy Krueger. The one on his right is by Mezco as part of their Cinema of Fear series, and the one on his left is by NECA. While not perfect, the Mezco one definitely scales better. And speaking of scale, for a relative scale comparison, here he is with Pizza Spidey and the Spectacular Spider-Man. And as always, here he is with Stealth Iron Man. In my dreams, 
I can walk. My legs are strong. In my dreams, I am the Wizard Master. The downside of this figure is that he doesn't come with a lot of accessories, but as someone who never read the comic, I can't really speak to what other accessories he could or should be coming with. The nice thing about Sleepwalker is that he's crossed over with a bunch of different characters, so there's multiple displays you can slip him in. For playability, I'm giving Sleepwalker one whole point. This leaves us with nothing left to discuss but the price. I found Sleepwalker at Target for $22.99, which given all the reuse and as little as you're getting, does seem seem kind of high. Not only that, but with the average price of Marvel Legends going up to $25, moving forward, I'm going to have to get choosy. I don't know. I might sit out the rest of this wave. And I say all of this knowing that I could change my mind tomorrow if I see something I like enough. True story, I actually had despair in my hand, which if you didn't know I was talking about action figures, is kind of a strange sentence. But there was a little kid there looking through the figures for that particular character, so I decided to let him have him. I don't regret getting him, because he is a pretty cool looking character, but for price, I'm giving Sleepwalker half a point for a grand total of 4.5 out of 5. For some more Marvel Legends magic, check out my look at the 20th anniversary Iron Man, or check out my action figure evolution of Storm. Did you read Sleepwalker comics, and if so, how do you feel about the figure? I'll be back again real soon, but until then, play nice and have fun.